Well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. And today we have a look at another kit from the fine folks over in the Ukraine, in Kiev, I believe. This is Mini Art. It's the German industrial tractor G8511 Mod 1936 with cargo trailer. I'm looking at that tractor, they don't call it a Lanz, but if you look at here, it is a Lanz Bulldog. That's what they were called, these tractors. We are known for being a very strong for the time and we have a look what it looks like on the side you get a telling you what it is in Russian Ukrainian and English then on this side just what you saw in the front here we have the different iterations it comes with or some of the iterations it comes with we look at everything obviously once we unpack it in the meantime let's uh, have a look what the fine folks over here. We have a look what the fine folks are over and uh, it's going to say about this. Shall we? Here we go. Uh, there you see it is a full kit. This is a Rebex from 2021. The original kit, I believe, was 2020. Here we go. And I remember when that came out, I thought, oh, this looks great. Love to have one of those. I never did it come to South Africa. Or when it came, I was too late here. I It came to one of the hobby shops in Pretoria. And I immediately ordered it. And it is obviously the latest not quite the latest iteration. The latest iteration is this one here, the agricultural one with a wooden cart, which is very nice. We obviously have not that one. We have the one with a nice station scenery on the box art and with the cable rolls at the back. Beautiful. So a 2021 rebox from a 2020 kit from the folks at Mini Art. Now that is probably means it probably not a bad kit. What do you think? I think it's not going to be a bad kit. But uh, let's just go and make sure, shall we? And we start as we usually do with the instructions. Right. It says in German industrial tractor instructions in A4 kind of semi gloss print. Nice and colorful. Ah, you see it's a Lance. You see Lance Bulldog. Very, very pretty. Different iterations. You see this one with the GR, which means Deutsche Reichsbahn, which was the uh, government organization who ran the railways in Germany from the early 20s until 1945. And as far as the GDR is concerned, until 1992. Um, uh, in Germany, then in the Federal Republic of Germany, it became the Deutsche Bundesbahn or DB. DB still is the latest iteration of the privatized uh, trains in Germany, which is called the Deutsche Bahn, still DB. But in those days, before 1945, in the federal part of Germany, where the land structures were made, it was the Deutsche Reichsbahn. You can also see it spelled out right here at the bottom as a, a trailer full of coal. You see, you can either ride it by horse or you can put all the Lance Bulldogs in front. Why not? Here you go. Different iterations again. You can either have the Telefunken or you can have the Deutsche Reichsbahn. Or I guess you can have a mixture of them both. And let's just, while we are at it, before we have a look at the instruction themselves, just have a look at the back here. There's another iteration of the tractor, which just gives you an idea. Different ideas how to do this. And here is the Telefunken trailer. If you don't know what Telefunken is, Telefunken was a German electronic company, did radios, later record players, and was eventually, like most electronic companies, assimilated by some other Chinese or Taiwanese company. They still pump out stuff under the name Telefunken and sell it in Central Europe, but it's not Telefunken made in Germany anymore. Right, now let's have a look what the instructions look like. There we go. Right, so on the first page you have the opportunity to check all your sprues. 
and there are a few of those as you can see clear parts uh, decals there's some small photo edge parts over here and the rest is the normal gray plastic as we are used from mini art just having a quick look here we start with the engine and the transmission Jeez, the word just uh, went out of me here transmission and different smaller parts which you can add there clutch obviously in there as well then some small and fine as far as the scale of 135 is concerned, small and fine parts which you add to the tractor. I filled the Porsche tractor in 124 before I had lots of fun doing it. Uh, now in 135 going for the lungs. Exhaust. And then obviously the tyres which were full rubber tyres. No need to check the air on these. That will be fine. Then obviously you had a heavy wheel on the side and then you have the trailer where you assemble the frame yourself as it is normally with mini art and you have the different ways how to put the suspension together and make sure the front part swivels and then the final assembly here the different colors for the cable drums which you can uh, finish them off in then you have the paint guard for the figure which is in the kit and then obviously we had a look at this one already that's basically what it looks like uh, so it looks like a very comprehensive instruction sheet as we are used to then we have a look at the glass of which is only one window basically if you want so and then obviously some glass for the lights and then we'll see a couple of decals must say I never had problems with decals from mini art. Cannot see that I will have problems with those. And then let's dump a right. No, wait, before we do that, there was a piece of PE in here. So before we go into the gray plastic, and let's go down a bit, which will keep us busy for a minute. I can tell you that for nothing. Let's have a quick look. At the PE it's not a huge amount I want to show it to you nevertheless you have the Lance Bulldog plate over here and some other smaller metal parts I love it that the Lance Bulldog plate is on there so you can obviously use it and put it on the tractor awesome stuff but now we go to the plastic and a huge amount of plastic it is, I can tell you that. These obviously are parts of the trailer, parts of the trailer frame right over here. Then we have, uh, I think that's part of the rotating front part. We have side covers, part of the floor. Suspension here at the bottom. So that all looks very, very nice. Very mini arty. Another one with the second part of the bottom and part of the sides have a look at the yeah there's a nice wooden uh, uh, structure in here a texture that's the word i was looking for some other suspension parts which obviously will help you to give this a nice wooden look then we have these things here which are the cable drums we have big ones and small ones we have a few sprues of those four, if I remember correctly. Also, they are very nicely textured with wood. Love that. Very, very well done. Let's just find the other so I don't show them to you again. Oh, to crack it as I am. That can happen very, very easily. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that one before. All right, pull those out of the way. Right, then we have uh, this piece of plastic over here which looks like the fenders and it's part of the front section and obviously the rear section where you can add some implements to the tractor if you ever had the pleasure of driving a tractor you know where that goes it normally lifts up a little bit at the back and you can put your plow or whatever implement you want to put on and put it on there i guess in the 1930s that wasn't that big of a 
selection. Part of the wheels, you can see in here, there are a couple of those screws in here as well. You see the front wheels over here, back wheels over here, a part of the back wheels because it's, they have a double uh, full rubber wheels and we will obviously have a look at the other part as well. Of those we also have I think three or four which I will now sort out of the pile. So I'm going to show you again, I think it was only two. Then we have front wheels of which this sprue we have four. Which obviously is not the front wheels, probably the wheels for the trailer which we will see right over here so you can see what they look like nicely branded Fulda Riese that's also a German tire manufacturer Fulda very very nice actually didn't see if there was any branding on the big tires let me have a quick look now oh, there's no branding on the big tires nothing nothing i can see there's fulda riza on the smaller tires tractor but nothing on the big ones right then we have here we go that's the cover for the uh, wheel where you put the the lever in to start the tractor uh, uh, what do you call that wheel schwungrad igg english English is fading. Let me have a look. Come on. While we are together, allow me a minute to look this up. Flywheel. Flywheel. Anyway, yeah, that's the flywheel cover right over here. Then you see the side with the uh, radiator right over there the typical tractor seat this is tractor seats so i still knew them when i were doing tractor driving and i think that's a part of the exhaust stack right over there right let's put that for last here we have two uh sprues left here is a part of the exhaust system again we have what i might be the brakes over here light you see all oh, very nicely fine very careful with that when you cut them off and you want to sandpaper them they break very easily very delicate as we are used to from uh, mini art uh, top cover of the engine bay and this is the floor cover of the uh, driver section part of the suspension i would assume then let's have a look at these ones we have more sides for the tractor. This means we have three sides altogether. It seems that there are sometimes more parts in there than we were actually looking for. We have here engine. Now this seems to be the flywheel cover, so I don't know what the other round thing was. I will find out. Uh, engine and uh, now that's the engine. That seems to be the gearbox and transmission and clutch uh, steering wheel, which was a very simple steering wheel and some other parts if you want to have a look at the details over here here we go look some slight molding went on here as well here we go look at that very nice detail as we are used to from mini art they are certainly known for detail and certainly also known that you have to be very careful when working with the parts can be fiddly at times but boy if you love that subject you're not gonna let that stop you and then we have the figure right over here and for the figure painters let's have a closer look at that focusing really focus it oh, yeah, not bad see the torso legs looks nice and detailed the hat over here arm here is the head and the face let's put it the other way around so get a better idea right so that is the sprue with the figure and then we put that one in here and we call it a day on the german tractor which i call it obviously or not to be getting in trouble but it is a lance bulldog and let's just get out the 
here so you can see the full package again. It is a Lance Bulldog, which they called the German Industrial Tractor D8511 Mod 1936 with cargo trailer. Awesome box art, looks an awesome kit. Folks at Mini Art blow me away, and especially now under difficult circumstances, they still churn out kits like this. And I get them in South Africa, isn't that wonderful? So if you can get your hands on one of those and you like these kind of subject, you don't mind being building one to thirty-five. I'll go for it. I think it's a uh, it's together with the Tempo E four hundred, which we had a look at before, or might have a look at afterwards. I'm not quite sure in what order they go up onto the channel. Um, these are wonderful display pieces, and I will certainly use them for that, and will take my sweet time to finish them off. Well, thanks very much for looking. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys have an awesome day and awesome time, and until next time. Greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.